Now I wanna show you one more cool feature of Procreate app. It's called Liquify. It allows us to easily distort the objects. I will show you how it works on the blue planet. Select the layer. Click on magic wand icon and liquify. In the bottom we have a menu with many tools we can use. Let's see each one by one. Click push. In here you see a list of settings for a currently selected tool, like size, pressure, distortion and momentum. This one creates a the pushing effect or pulling if you do it from the inside of the object. If we click reset, all the changes will be cancelled and we can start over. You can increase the size to apply the effect to the whole planet. If we decrease the size, it will impact small areas of the planet. Pressure is the intensity of the action. Distortion adds more diversity to the effect. Sometimes it can be useful, but usually I keep it at zero. This one creates a momentum effect when we apply the tool. I push and it follows. I also keep it at zero. So I usually change only the size of this tool. The next one is twirl right effect. If we tap and hold on the object, it starts to twirl like this. The next is the same, but twirls in the opposite direction. We can increase the size to make the whole planet twirl. Reset. Pinch effect. If you tap and hold on the object, it will start to engulf. Like this. Expand is similar, but has an opposite effect. Remove distortion, increase the size. And if you tap and hold, it will add more volume to the object. If we choose a small size, it will apply locally. We can bulge out a small part. For example, make the craters bigger. Crystals creates a nice effect that looks like ice. Sometimes might be useful. Edge creates this kind of a distortion effect. Reconstruct tool. It's useful if you applied some effects already and now want to go back to a specific position. For example, if we expand it too much, we can use reconstruct feature to decrease the effect. There is also a just feature, which you can use after you applied some effect. You can adjust the value of that effect. Click reset. Now let's slightly edit the planet shape, using the push tool, like this. Now select small size and create dance on the edges. I think it's too much. Like this here. And maybe here. And now using expand tool add some more volume. Too small. Increase the size, cancel, increase a bit more, like this. Looks good now. Click here to quit the mode. Next, using the liquify tool, I want to create some sort of a portal here, where the rocket came from. Zoom in. First, we need to create a shape which we will apply the effect to. Let's pick the red color. 
Select the outline brush. I'm gonna draw some spiral like this. Pick yellow color now. And add lines like this. Now open Liquify tool. And using twirl feature, tap and hold in the center. Here is what we've got. You can play with it. Click reset and go back. Click here, our layer and clear to make the layer empty. Let's draw something more simple now. Now pick red color and add lines like this. Open Liquify. Cancel. Select Twirl Right feature. Tap and hold. And release. It's too big now. Take Transform tool, scale it down a bit and place it here. Now I wanna add a glowing effect to it. To do this, duplicate our layer. Hide the top layer and select this one. Now if we just drop the color, not everything will get recolored because we have so many colors here. I'm gonna use another technique instead. Click on the layer, enable alpha lock. Select the big round brush. And now spread the color all over the shape to fill everything. Before we make it shiny, we need to disable alpha lock because we want the glowing effect to go outside the shape. Display the duplicate now. And having the glow effect selected, enable Gaussian Blur effect. Tap and drag the pencil to increase the effect. Like this. And click here to quit the mode. Now duplicate the glow layer to multiply the effect. And finally merge these two layers. Great, let's move on to the next chapter.